Sarah Kajuju and uh, my story <laughs> is a story I love to tell. In fact, I really, really love to tell my story. I am a village girl, uh, born and bred in the village. Uh, I went to school in Meru, schooled in Meru from uh, primary to high school and I only came to Nairobi in campus and uh, it has been an amazing journey, a journey of growth, a journey of uh, many disappointments along the way but either way it is a worthwhile journey that I have had. So currently I am uh, a coach, I am a trainer and I am a recruiter or a headhunter. Uh, I run two businesses. Uh, the other thing I do is art. I run two businesses, Treasure Designs and uh, Gifts and uh, Growth Coach International Limited. So both of these uh, uh, businesses have their products, but the products I want to highlight much are those of Growth Coach. And uh, one of the products that we have incorporated into Growth Coach from Treasure Designs is the Treasured Arts and Creative Club. And what we realized is that there are many, many uh, children with potential for crafts. When I used to do crafts in treasure designs, parents would come to me and ask me, can you teach my child how to do this, you know? We have very many gifted kids. We have very, very many gifted kids, more gifted than you'd ever imagine. And some of those, to grow their art to the next level, need a coach. They need somebody who has been in this space, done it, made mistakes, and done you know errors that they can learn from you know and so we found the need to begin the arts club you know we actually realized that over school holidays the parents don't most often know what to do with their children you know and we realized that there are so many children who are artistically gifted and their parents don't even know what to do with them for example i have a client in uh, karen her name is joanne with a son called Alan. Alan is so gifted in art, he is so gifted in crafting, he can do amazing things. And most often during school holidays, the mother has no idea what to do with this child. So this is why we put together this art club, you know? And the children come, we have a theme running for that day, and what makes the difference in our club and like other clubs, art and the craft club, is that ours are Bible based. So what do I mean by this? Is that we have a memory verse at the beginning of uh, the day that the children memorize and they will have to uh, say it the next day when they come for the club. So these ones we meet like twice in a week. The children come with their paper, pens, uh, scissors, colors and everything. And we sit together to make articles. In the past, we've been able to make lampshades. We've been able to make bookmarks. We've been able to make uh, decorations for Christmas and so on and so forth. So we have many things that the children are able to make. Of course, it teaches them a lot of teamwork. It teaches them uh, communication because they have to do their presentations at the end of the day. It teaches them how to collaborate with others because if you don't have a particular crayon and you have to borrow it from your friend, then it teaches them that way. But most importantly, it teaches them, them the word of God even as they interact together. So this is one of the programs that we pride in doing and uh, it ha happens every school holiday. We have places that we meet and like last year when uh, we were challenged with COVID, we took it online and it was still successful. We had many parents who registered their children for the Treasured Arts and Creative Club. The second product that uh, Growth Coach runs is the Farm Foundation uh, program. And the Farm Foundation program is uh, basically for primary school children. One of the things that we have realized with our children is that uh, either the system of education or the parenting, there is something missing in terms of giving these children soft skills that can help them even express themselves. And these skills would include things like communication, assertion, you know, the way to say no to somebody, you know, these children lack that, as well as interpersonal skills. So we put this club together and this one, we have debates that go on. We have things like uh, presentation. They come with their projects and they present. And this ones, they are able to hone the skills they need. We call it Farm Foundation because it creates a very good foundation for the children as they take off from primary school to um, uh, secondary school. At secondary school, we have the PROSPER program. And we call it PROSPER because this now 
after they have honed their skills at primary level to be able to communicate, to be able to interact with other children at that level, now the PROSPER program takes it away and helps them to further these skills. And besides just those uh, interpersonal skills, we train them on leadership skills. They begin learning that they are a leader. Whether they have a title, whether they are called prefect or head boy or whatever, they still can lead and they first start by leading themselves. So we have realized that parents struggle so much and especially when children get to form two. A child is lost, they don't know who they are, they don't know their identity. They want to discover this and the other. So this is the program that helps the children to actually establish themselves and know who they are and discover things about them that they are being told about and they are not firm, they don't have that firm belief in themselves to discover their identity in Christ. We emphasize on Christ again at this level and this is an amazing program that every parent should consider coming into. After that, we have the ACE Gap Ear program. We call it Gap Ear because after the children have cleared from four, they are a bit lost, you know? They don't know whether to go to college, they don't know whether to go to campus, they don't know whether they are children. Some of them have an identity crisis right there. They don't know whether they are adults or they are children. So this Gap Ear program prepares them for life now as adults because most of them have attained the age of 18, you know? So we prepare them to appreciate the fact that they are now adults. They have moved from being children, they are now adults. But besides just helping them to internalize the fact that they are adults, to prepare them for college life, to prepare them for work life, some of them will go into work. And this one is what does it. It's what most people will call the ex-candidates program because they have gotten out of being candidates at Form 4 and they are now getting into the job market or the college market and they don't know where to begin. So we talk things like um, how to communicate, you know, things like how to lead thyself when you go to campus, things like the choice of friends, you know, the choice of career. We talk things like personality traits and how to know your personality because now they are even beginning to get into relationships, dating, and some of them may not even know who to date, what to date, when to date, you know? And so we take them through this. So all our programs have been curated in such a way that they move from primary all the way to high school, to campus, after campus, and after campus or colleges, or some of them who have not even gone to high school or gone to, you know, some of them, now they are in the labor market. And these ones will begin from the age of 20 and above. And this one, we call it the concilium. The concilium is basically a word in uh, Italian that means purpose, all right? And this is a program that helps them to discover, to develop, and to connect. So we help them now discover themselves. Who are they? What are you able to do, you know? Are you able to run a business or are you able to work for somebody? Are you lacking skills or do you have skills that can be employable? So we help them to discover. But to develop, we help them now develop the skills further. Some of them already have the skills, but they need somebody to push them and to spur them and tell them that you can actually do it. And they are lacking that confidence. So we help them to develop. But besides, we help them to connect into the job market, to either connect as entrepreneurs or to connect as employable young people. Connecting as entrepreneurs means they have a business plan. What does your business represent? What is your uh, value proposition? Who is your market? Who is your customer? You know, how do you get your product from, you know, being a product to the, into the market, you know? So we help them go through the dynamics of business to establishing themselves, to even registering those businesses. Some of them may need funding, you know, from uh, external sources. So we help them curate their business plans in readiness for funding. But besides, we also help them to pitch their ideas to potential investors and to potential partners and also potential clients. So that is one bit. But the other bit of employability, some of them need to do their CVs. They don't, they've never even owned a CV. A few of them have CVs, but this CV speaks something different from what they are selling themselves to. So we help them to do their CVs. We help them to get internships. We help them to um, uh, connect with potential employers through uh, applications. We help them to actually cite uh, people who can be able to uh, employ them for their very fast uh, you know, time. 
as well as creating profiles on social media, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram, and all these other places for visibility. So we help them to also uh, work on their visibility so that a potential employer can be able to look for them. So basically, those are our products. And uh, yeah, we are making a difference. One person at a time, one business at a time, and we are proud. We are really, really proud to be doing this as Growth Coach International. There's nothing too hard. But again, it begins with an idea. It goes on to actuating it. I know for sure action is what we need today more than ever before. You can't sit on the idea. You can't sit on your dream, your thoughts. You have to take a step further. Do it, action it, action it. And in actioning it, it will challenge your courage. It will challenge, you know, the way you do it. But in doing it again and again, you get to grow, you get to do better, you get to become better, you get to, you know, um, see what it is that you can do differently, you know? And I want to tell you, my viewers, that you can be that person, you can be that business, you can be that multi-billion dollar business that we have seen the world having, you know? So it takes a day at a time, one day at a time, Start it today. Don't wait for tomorrow. Start it today. You know, I know there are many young people out there intending to start businesses. Yeah. My message to you is Rome was not built in a day. But one other thing is that you are a gift to the world. You know, you have what it takes to actually make it in this world. The world needs that fruit, that gift that you are. Well, one of the verses that I really love and I love to tell young people from the Bible is Proverbs 18.16 that your gift will open the door for you and it will present you before great men. You have what it takes. Bring out that gift. If your gift is crafting, craft like there was never tomorrow, you know. If your gift is talking like I do, <laughs> talk like there is no tomorrow. Look for platforms to talk and talk some more, you know. If your gift is singing, sing like there is never tomorrow, you know. Sing your heart out and somebody will notice you. But of course, choose your platforms. The other thing that I have noticed today that young people need to do is visibility. You will never eat of these fruits yourself. So take it somewhere. For example, if your gift is talking, why don't you MC in a function and somebody will notice you, you know. I'll give an example. Two weekends ago, my sister dragged me to a friend's graduation party. And the MC of the day was a man asked, where are the ladies to cut the cake? Who will do this cake? And I grabbed that opportunity. And I made a big joke out of it, you know, and people laughed their hearts out. And at the end of the function, two ladies called me and asked me, do you do professional MCing? And this has opened up an opportunity for me. In two weekends, I am emceeing at an event, courtesy of me grabbing that opportunity. So don't let an, an opportunity pass you. Young people out there, hear me. Don't let an opportunity pass you. For as long as it is legal and it is right, grab it by the horns and run with it. We have many opportunities that we are not utilizing. For me, my business has grown in leaps and bounds because of grabbing opportunities. Some of them pro bono, free, you know. Nobody pays me a penny. In fact, I remember one time, I was telling some ladies uh, the other day, I remember one time I was called upon to coach businesses. And at the end of two weeks of coaching, all I got was a pack of biscuits from the Netherlands. Nothing more, nothing less. But what did that do for me is that it opened the doors before me. Why? Because the person who gave me this opportunity was able to see my ability to coach. So for me, my advice to you young people is, when an opportunity presents itself, show up and do it like there is no tomorrow. That said and done, I am sure the world will open before you because we have all these opportunities waiting for us. Thank you.